Hello bookworms! Today I'm going to be doing a bookshelf tour. I'm really excited because I feel like I finally have the bookshelves of my dreams. Since we've moved into our house, I got rid of my old Ikea bookshelves, though I do have some of those upstairs for overflow books, but I got these beautiful beautiful shelves that I am obsessed with. They're from CB2 and they're the Helix Walnut Wood Wall Mount in 96 inches. So they are very tall. I actually need a step stool in order to reach the top two shelves and I'm pretty tall. So that's like very tall, but I really, really love these. I really wanted something that had like a nice wooden kind of feel to it. My goal in creating this room was to kind of create like a little hobbit hole kind of space and I feel like these just perfectly like fit in with everything that I was going for and I just really love them to pieces. And also very big shout out to Reagan from Peru's Project because she has these bookshelves in white and when I saw hers I really liked them but it wasn't the color that I wanted and then I found them in this color. She was so nice about fielding like all of the questions that I had before I actually purchased them because they are definitely on the more expensive side. They're the most expensive bookshelves that I've ever purchased. Mostly just wanted to make sure that the Wheel of Time would not break them like it did with my previous bookshelves and so far so good. The one thing that I will say is that setting these shelves up was a trying time for Andrew and I. We got into a huge fight just because it was really like the actual setting them up was not bad, but then putting them in the wall and trying to determine if there were studs there was like a nightmare. <laughs> like it was not a fun night, but once they got up, they're beautiful. We've never touched them at all again and I love them so much. I'm gonna just go shelf by shelf and show you what I have her shelf and then if there's anything that's like a favorite book or a favorite edition or something I'll pull it out to give you a full view. I think it's more fun to just see like what people have in their collections because I think we're we all love books. We're all book collectors. We all kind of have some idea of like what the book cover is going to look like unless it's something like unusual. And also so I tried to film a bookshelf organization video when I was putting my shelves up back in October and that was not for me. I have so much admiration for people who are able to do that but I just that was so much pressure and I even like made a spreadsheet beforehand of which books I had and which shelves I was planning on putting everything on and it was like still too much pressure to film like the organization part. I was like, I this just has to be like a for me thing. <laughs> and last thing to note before I finally start showing you my bookshelves is that pretty much all of the books on these shelves are fantasy. I have one small shelf of romance, but the majority of my romance books and other books and honestly even some fantasy duplicates I have upstairs in, on bookshelves in our spare room along with my manga and graphic novels. I have another bookshelf for Star Wars books. I have another bookshelf for classic books. These books are pretty much my like fantasy, like core pride and joy collection. <laughs> okay, so here we go. So the first shelf is largely a Shadowhunter shelf from top to bottom, though there are some other things on here. On this top one, I have my UK paperbacks of the Mortal Instruments series. I also have the Lumicrate Infernal Devices series, which I will show you a little bit closer. And then I have my absolutely beloved Robin Hobb UK paperbacks that I am obsessed with and I cannot wait to get the rest of them. I do have a couple more, which you'll see when we shift down slightly. So showing off those Illumicrate editions. First, right here, we have the front of them. I really like the color combination that they used for these. I think that they are super pretty. Then we have the sprayed pages, which again are super gorgeous. Really love the design of these. And the back of the hardcovers each have a nice quote and border on them. The next shelf is a collection of young adult fantasy. So these include some of my favorite YA series like The Folk of the Air, all of Carrie Maniscalco's books, The Shadow of the Fox trilogy by Julie Kagawa, and Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. And then I also have the Scythe series. I have the Fairy Loot edition of the Scythe series. So the exclusive covers are not too dissimilar from the original covers, but what I really love about these ones are the sprayed pages. 
Then moving back to Shadow Hunters, I have a shelf that is entirely all of the standard US hardcovers for pretty much every series within the Shadow Hunter realm minus the last hours series which is overflowing onto this shelf and on this shelf i also have a couple of special editions which i will show you more in depth but ones that i'm not going to pull out are on the end the fairy loot edition for the dark artifices series those are the ones that have the neon sprayed pages and in my opinion those are the most special thing about them then i have the waterstones rune editions of the eldest curses series and i also have the walker books new special edition of City of Bones and supposedly they're going to be doing the rest of the series in these editions so I will definitely be picking those up. Then I have the Waterstones rune editions of the Dark Artifices series. Then on this shelf I have the U.S. Standard editions of the Eldest Curses series and also the Collector's Edition of Chain of Gold which Barnes & Noble like randomly released. Then I have the Fairy Loot and Illumicrate special editions of the Last Hour series. I haven't received Chain of Thorns yet for either, but these are the covers. So the left side is Fairy Loot and the right side is Illumicrate. Then we have the sprayed pages for each of the books that I just showed. I really love the fairy loot pages. And the back of the fairy loot books, which have a really nice quote and design. Then I have the Waterstones exclusive editions of the Last Hour series. And these ones don't have any sprayed pages or anything special on the back. So I'm just gonna show the front. Then I have the original US hardcovers for the Throne of Glass series, the Accord of Thorns and Roses series, and the Caraval series. Then I have the collector's editions for Throne of Glass, A Court of Thorns and Roses, which is backward for some reason, and Caraval. And they've only done the first book in each series, but I'm really hoping that they'll continue. Then these are the books without the slip cases on them. And these are the flip side of those books without the slip cases on them. And these are the back sides of the slip cases, but the front side of Throne of Glass because I'm recording this audio later and I realized that I put these ones all out of whack. Bookshelf 2. So on the top shelf I have the continuation of my Robin Hobb UK paperbacks which I mentioned before. All I need is the Rainwild Chronicles and then I will have all of her books. And then I also have the UK paperbacks of The Name of the Wind and The Wise Man's Sphere as well as an assortment of Neil Gaiman books. I have my U.S. hardcovers of The Hunger Games. Shelf 2, I have an assortment of Victoria Schwab books, and then I also have all of my Simon Snow books on this shelf, and some Angela Carter books. Then on the next shelf, I have more young adult fantasy, so I have all of my Lainey Taylor books. I have The Diviners, which I'll show you more closely, and then I also have the All Souls trilogy. So these are the fairy loot editions of the Diviner series. What I like most about them are these beautiful covers. On the next shelf, I have a whole bunch of special editions, so get ready to see all of these more in depth. And I also have the Harry Potter series. So first are the sprayed pages for the Once Upon a Broken Heart series by Stephanie Garber and this is the Inky Fox edition and since these are our first printing of the UK hardcovers they also have the secret covers so for the first one I have the fox and for the second one I have the dragon. Then I have the fairy loot editions of Once Upon a Broken Heart and The Ballad of Never After. The sprayed pages on these ones are probably some of my favorite sprayed pages that fairy loot has ever done. And I also just wanted to show off the naked hardcovers because they are also so beautiful. Then I have the fairy loot editions of Daughter of the Moon Goddess and Heart of the Sun Warrior. And again, fairy loot just kills it when it comes to sprayed pages. Then I have the Illumicrate editions of the Folk of the Air series and the first book in the Stolen Air duology and the back sides of those, which are pretty much the same as the front, just minus the title. Then I have another shelf that is mostly special editions, so get ready to see these, as well as my Avatar books and the German edition of Name of the Wind. So first are all of the fairy loot editions of Elizabeth Lim's two most recent duologies. And of course, we have to take a moment to appreciate the sprayed pages. Then I have the fairy loot edition of The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea. 
and I am loving this recent trend of dragons on sprayed pages. And for good measure, here is the back of the book. I just love the color combination on this one. Then I have three more fairy loot editions for A Dowry of Blood, Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies, and Chloe Gong's Foul Lady Fortune. And these are the sprayed pages on the monthly fairy loot books. And then I just wanted to show the naked hardcovers for Emily Wilde and for Foul Lady Fortune because both of those are gorgeous. Next I have the Illumicrate edition of Alone With You in the Aether by Olivia Blake, the Fairy Loot edition of One Dark Window, and the Fairy Loot edition of The Last Tale of the Flower Bride. And these are the sprayed pages on those editions. Then I have the limited hardcover editions of Kings of the Wild and Bloody Rose from Anderida Books. I was so excited to grab these because this is one of my absolute favorite series ever. And then I have everyone's newest favorite book, Legends and Lattes and I have the Broken Binding edition of this. I really love the sprayed pages on this one and that it kept the beautiful cover art. Next I have Brandon Sanderson's Tress of the Emerald Sea which was the first one of his secret projects from the Kickstarter this year. Then I have a shelf that is mostly adult fantasy so I have the Magicians trilogy, I have some Stephen King, I have the first Binding, I have the first book of the Bone Season, the first two books of the Bone Shard Daughter. I also have my beautiful Illumicrate editions of Lore Olympus. And I also just wanted to show the nerdy ink covers of the Lord of the Rings series. These are so much fun. Moving on to bookshelf number three. So on the top shelf, I have a collection of mostly YA fantasy, and then I also have the Illumicrate editions of TJ Klune's books. The next shelf has all of the fantasy romance that I own, as well as the Beautiful Creatures Quartet and the Illumicrate editions of Gideon the Ninth. I love the naked hardcovers of these. And here are the beautiful sprayed pages. And then I have a mostly Sarah J moss shelf. These are the Accord of Thorns and Roses covers by Nerdy Ink, and these are the backs of the hard covers. Then I have the tour editions of Crescent City by Sarah J Moss, and these are the backs of those. Then I have the fairy loot editions of Daughter of the Pirate King and Daughter of the Siren Queen. These are the ones that have the flipped out sprayed pages, so I won't show those again, but these are the naked hard covers of those. Back to Sarah J Moss. These are the nerdy ink covers for the first four books in the Throne of Glass series. And these are the backs of the dust jackets. You'll notice that the artwork is the same, but the quote and the color of the dresses changes for each of them. And these are the last four books in the Throne of Glass series, also the nerdy ink covers. And again, the backs of those dust jackets for the remainder of the series. Then this is probably one of my favorite shelves on all of my books bookshelves and that's because it houses so many of my favorite books. So I have the Farseer Trilogy by Robin Hobb. I've got the Stormlight Archive series by Brandon Sanderson, the Mistborn series by Brandon Sanderson, and the 10th anniversary edition of Name of the Wind. And if you are a video game fan, I highly recommend Hollow Knight. I have two little minifigures on this shelf from Fangamer. And these are the covers of the illustrated editions of the Farseer Trilogy by Robin Hobb. And this is a really hard to find edition of Name of the Wind with a very old cover that I love very much. The next shelf is my other favorite shelf on my bookshelf, and that's because it houses all of the leather bounds that I have from Brandon Sanderson. First is Elantris on the left and Warbreaker on the right. Then I have the Mistborn series and the leather bound edition of Way of Kings, which was broken out into two books. Then I have the Fairy Loot edition of the Winter Night Trilogy by Catherine Arden, and these are the sprayed pages on those. They're very bold. I also have a leather-bound edition of Name of the Wind. It's actually the 10th anniversary edition, but the company that makes these leather-bound books is called Geekify, and I got mine at New York Comic Con, and I really, really love it. And of course, I have the Illumicrate edition of the Greenbone Saga by Fond du Lis, which is another all-time favorite series of mine. And here are the sprayed pages on those. And the bottom shelf of bookshelf three is another adult fantasy shelf. So on this one, I have all of the new Witcher hardcovers. I also have some other ones that I will show you in depth. And I also have some editions of the Night Circus and the Starless Sea. So these are the 
the Illumicrate editions of Naomi Novik's Spinning Silver and Uprooted, and I just wanted to show you the naked hardcover spines because they are lovely. Then I have the Fairy Loot and Illumicrate editions of Babel or Babel by R.F. Kuang, depending on how you prefer to say it. And these are the sprayed pages on those, which are some of the prettiest ones ever. Next is the Illumicrate edition of Empire of the Vampire. And these are the sprayed pages on that one. The next shelf is a romance shelf, and these books will eventually migrate upstairs once more books come out in my fantasy series, and then I'll shift everything accordingly. Following that, I have some thriller books that I really enjoyed, and I also have the Vampire Academy series and the Bloodline series by Rochelle Mead. The book with the bloody pages on it is The Coldest Girl in Cold Town, and it is the Fairy Loot edition. And here is the reverse side of that book. Then I have an adult fantasy shelf which has some overflow so I've got the U.S. editions of the Crescent City series. I have a box set of illustrated Lord of the Rings books which didn't fit on my Lord of the Rings shelf. I have some doubles of Naomi Novik and I also have some Orbit books including the Ryria series from Michael J. Sullivan and For the Wolf by Hannah Witten. Then I have my Greek mythology shelf so this is full of Greek mythology retellings of Stephen Fry's books about Greek mythology and some dark academia that I felt also fit in. This is the lovely UK hardcover of Circe by Madeline Miller. These are two editions of If We Were Villains by M.L. Rio. Then I have Illumicrate's Madeline Miller box set, which includes the Song of Achilles and Circe. Then I also have the Waterstones version of Song of Achilles. Next are the first two books in the Atlas series by Olivia Blake, and these are the Fairy Loot editions, and these are the sprayed pages on those. Then I have the Illumicrate editions of the Atlas series by Olivia Blake, and again, here are the pages on the Illumicrate editions. And now we have my beautiful Wheel of Time shelf. This is the shelf that broke my other bookshelves. The book I have sitting on the top is The Origins of the Wheel of Time, and this is the Broken Binding edition. And the bottom shelf on this fourth bookshelf is mostly special editions, so let's go through some of those. First are the Fairy Loot editions of the Inheritance Game series by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I really love the Fairy Loot editions. They look very much like old leather-bound kind of books. These are the sprayed pages on those books and the naked hardcovers are absolutely beautiful as well. Then I have the Lit Joy Crate box set of the Folk of the Air series by Holly Black, and these are the flip side of those books. Then I have Illumicrate editions for The Book Eaters, God Killer, and Little Thieves, and these are the sprayed pages for those books. Then I have the Fairy Loot editions of Spells for Forgetting and Belladonna. And again, here are the sprayed pages for those books. Then I have the Illumicrate editions of the Bone Witch trilogy by Rin Chupeco. And here are the sprayed pages for that trilogy. And here are the naked hardcovers. Now, moving on to the final bookshelf. My top shelf is middle grade reads. And these two books, no matter what I do, just fall down. So I need to get some bookends to keep those up. Then I have another middle grade shelf. And it is mostly Keeper of the Lost Cities. That is a very, very long running series at this point, And we're still expecting another book. And it also includes my Julie A books for Eva Evergreen, as well as The Adventurer. Guild series. Then I have a sci-fi shelf, which is largely the Expanse series by James S.A. Corey. And I also have the 10th anniversary edition of Leviathan Weeks, which is the first book in the Expanse series, as well as two special editions of Dune. And here are the sprayed pages on those. I am so hoping that Orbit will do more of these special editions of the Expanse series with neon pages just like this pink because they are perfection. Then I have my beautiful Lord of the Rings shelf, and on here I have Folio Society editions of Lord of the Rings and a whole bunch of other box sets and assorted books by David Day, who really does like deep dives into the series. The next shelf is all adult fantasy, so I have the last Wheel of Time book, which doesn't fit on the Wheel of Time shelf. I've got the Sun Eater series, which I'm really hoping to start soon. I have the two Critical Role books that are out, and I have the Faithful and the Fallen series by John Gwynn. And I also have the 
Illumicrate edition of the Poppy War series. Thank you so much to my friend DJ who was cleaning his shelves and gave me his copies. And finally, last shelf, which is at a very awkward angle. Apologies for that, but I have a couch and a table in the way that I just can't move. This is another shelf of some adult fantasy. We've got the second era of Mistborn. We have the illustrated editions of the first three Game of Thrones books, which I really am hoping that they will do more of because these are the editions I want for my shelves. I've also got the Companion to the Wheel of Time. I've got Arcanum Unbound. I have another Hobbit book, another Lord of the Rings book, and then the book that I am so excited to read but haven't gotten to yet, which is So Say We All, and that is a book all about Battlestar Galactica. Okay, so that is my bookshelf tour. Those are all of the books that I currently have in my collection, along with some of the plans that I have for these shelves as things continue to expand and I continue to collect because there are a lot of series that I love that are not yet completed and I am a sucker for special editions of books that I love so wouldn't be surprised if I will need to get another bookshelf at some point and like continue <laughs> readjusting everything. For now I'm really pleased with the way that these look. I love them so so much and pretty much just like every time that I walk into my house the first thing I do is just like admire my bookshelves. I adore them. So I hope that you enjoyed this and I will see you guys soon in another video. Bye!